Oh my no, god. No, no. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Now no one knows it's my birthday. So there you go. <laughs> Do I start over? I don't know. Sorry. The hard it's, no. yeah. it's okay. They just hand me. I thought the mic was hot. I'm so sorry. Maybe that's better. Might be. Okay. I introduced the room. Yes. Okay. That's Here good. Good. Brent, Brent brought in Brent. some pickles. If you don't know and you can't, Minnie said happy birthday to me. They sung happy birthday. Whatever. We have Garrett over here on the board. Okay, so there you go. He's the man, the myth, the Monday legend. And we have Brent online. He just brought me my favorite food, pickles. Only sour, not sweet. And we have Minnie, and we have Spacky. And there we go. And Sayla, thanks for the sign. Oh, and Sayla, thank you for the sign. That was awesome. In case we edit it, that's the sign. Thank you, super fan Sayla from Plainfield, Indiana. Big D is on vacation. We love you, Big D. Okay. So, this is episode 96. We'll get right there, but I have to call out Brian Knudsen. It's his birthday. He's our regional sales manager in Indiana. We love you, B. You're awesome. And uh, come to find out, a lot of people share this birthday. Joe Cocker. That's awesome. Share. Jimmy Stewart. All kinds of nice people. So, I kind of like that. We're all tourists. All right. So, what else do I... Oh, I want to call out something, too. Last week, we had all our sales managers in town for our national sales meeting, and it was wonderful. We had a training. We built some cabinets. You might have seen some of the pictures I put on Festool Sedge. I just want to call them out because they're our front lines at Festool, and they do a wicked awesome job. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts, and the guys and gals from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you. You guys do such a phenomenal job for this company. You are out there every day working hard, so thanks. Can't say that enough. All right. Wow. So what are we doing today, man? Good stuff. <laughs> I love you, Minnie. Hey, how's it coming through? The audio okay there? Big G? Oh. Big G. He's got a new name. Big G. Okay. Here we go. So, in cabinet class, we always came across the question. Uh, we build a face frame first, and then we attach our sides and build our box onto the face frame. So we'd cut all our pots, and everybody's wondering, how the hell are we going to do this? Or heck, how, how the heck are we going to do this? So... Um, there's two ways you build uh, boxes. You build the box first and then attach your frame to the box or you build your frame first and then you attach your box or you build your box to the frame. Some people put dados in here, some people use pocket screws, pocket holes, whatever. We don't have any of that. <laughs> so I want to show you how and the technique I'm going to show you with the domino will transfer into any furniture you're building, any cabinetry you're building. Um, I don't think I've, sh yeah, I did, mm, I haven't shown this yet. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do this topic up at Von Tobel, Garrett, um, up in Lafayette uh, for the Festool Live we're doing in August here in Indiana, uh, in Lafayette, Indiana. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Is Lafayette or La West Lafayette? I'm doing good? Okay. So we're going to do that, and I'll show you how to offset it again for apron skirt to table legs. I'm going to have uh, the 500 and the 700 to do that. So if you're going to be around, I think it's August 4th or 5th, I forget. Do you know, Chris? We're doing a Festool Live from Von Tobel. So I'm really stoked about that. Um, we'll be right here in Indiana, so everybody can come and we'll hang out. they got a great uh, showroom and everything. Okay. So in saying that, let's come over to this base cabinet here. We have a face frame on here. And it's, by the way, it's the exact same face frame, okay? And this is your side. I have narrower sides for this, okay? But you see this face frame right here? You're gonna, I'm going to swing it around so you can see it. See this right here? There's an offset. We call that a scribing ear. Or it's also good to do this so when you're banging a bunch of cabinets or putting a bunch of cabinets together 
the face frame only has to what? Register against this 20 millimeter piece, not this. If you did it flush, it would have to register the whole way. That's not good. The only time you really flush it, if it's at the end of the run of base cabinets and you just wanna make it flush on this side, you don't have to pin it into a wall. It's kind of like uh, sometimes I, I would build a galley kitchen and it would just end up being flush and then I would either finish it with an end panel or some applied molding. All right, so that is why I want to show you how to do that scribing here. And it's basically four millimeter, and you're going to see how to do that. So I have a face frame over here. And I did this side earlier just so it would be easy. I'm going to do this side now. This is the top, because you see this is the drawer boxes right here. We'll go in here. Um, and I built this at a 768 millimeter increment. Now, this was my starting point here. And I started here. I always, I always try to start at the top and work this way, and that's the way I'm going to work. So <clears throat> I have set up my domino. And just a quick refresher so you understand this. This is the plate, and this is the base. But I'm going to be plunging vertical. So anytime I'm plunging vertical, which I'm going to label it, I'm going to plunge vertical on this one. OK, I'm going to grab my side here. And I'm going to label this. My plate is going to register. I'm going to plunge horizontal on this piece. OK? In other episodes, I have shown how to use the domino and how to register the plate and how to mark my boards. Today, as I mark the boards, it'll be where I'm going to position the domino, but where I'm going to be laying the plate so you don't get confused. Follow me on this one. I am going to be plunging 15 and 15 into these boards. That's my plunge depth. If this is 20 millimeter, and there may be undulations or variances in this board, so I want to plunge at 15. So I chose a 5 by 30. I don't want to have to offset and plunge 15 in here and use a 6 by 4. Say I was using a 6 by 40, plunge 15 in here and 25 in the other. I get confused with that. I'm just going to plunge 15 and 15. So that's my plunge depth is 15. A 5 is plenty of glue line. Five, 15 and 15 into each piece. OK. So I put in a 5 millimeter bit. Now there's a. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and Chris, come over here so we can do this. This is really simple. When I do the face frame on a cabinet, because I'm going to be assembling the whole shebang and then putting my face frame on top, I, and if we come over here, Chris, so you can see it, I do all of the face frame in the tight setting. And I'm going to label that tight. I do this so I don't forget as I'm going through this. Now, when I do the carcass or the sides, I'm going to do those in the loose setting. And you're going to see right here I have it set up to do loose. I'm going to do this piece first. And then I'll show you how to do this and use this as my offset. This is the, the thickness, uh, the depth setting for the height of the fence for the domino. And when you look in here, you see what that says, 20? This is 20 millimeter or roughly 18, roughly 20 millimeter. It's 18 millimeter ply, but who cares about that because you'll see the offset. Uh, I have 20 in the window. Always remember, that's the thickness of your material. OK, good. So I'm going to write on here 20. It's that simple. Now I'm going to do my board. So from the top and from the bottom, I'm not going to mark it. I am going to use these flaps right here. See? I'll register the flap and the flap. I'm going to make three marks here. And because one of them is tight and the other one is loose, I'm not really worried about it. I want to put one kind of in the center. Look, see how it's flush. I'll put one right there. I'll put one right about there. And I'll put one right about there. That's simple, but that's where I know I lay my plate, and I lay my plate here. But I'm also going to use it as reference. Now I'm going to do one more on here. I'm going to take a saddle square, and I'm just going to extend this line at the very top. I'm going to bring it across like this, just so we have it. You'll see why I'm going to reference that. I'm going to bring it right across here, reference it. You have plenty of play, so 
My layout doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna bring it like that. It's a quick reference. You'll understand why momentarily. So let's do this one first. Remember, it's always the same techniques when you're using a domino. Make sure you work off the table. Okay, I'm just gonna take these new lever clamps. Oh my God, these things are wonderful. As I can swing it around just like this. Look how nice these are. These hold right down. Okay, they're beautiful. They're like hold fast. I'm going to put it in loose. Look, I'm gonna plunge horizontal and I'm gonna plunge at 15. I have my height set at 20, but I always verify it and bring it down. It's that simple. And, and say you've got a boatload of these to do a bunch of frames and sides. Think about it. If you label it properly, you can go through it very quickly. You won't waste material by labeling. I always say an ounce of layout is worth a pound. Okay, is that a saying? Does that, did that sound right? Okay. Ooh, listen to Sparky. Sparky, who is that? That was cool. We never hear Sparky growl. Wow, that's a foist. Mm, hey, Mo, what's going on outside? Okay, so you're going to notice I'm going to, I always do the same thing. I make sure I work off the table. I plunge in line from the back of the machine. I plunge at a steady rate. Okay. So I'm going to. Do that one first. You're going to see how it's loose. I'm going to do this one next. And then these don't really matter. I'm just going to line it up with the cursor. I don't look at it like this. I'm going to look at it through here like this. And just bring it right in. Man, do you ever realize it's a great day when you get to use a domino joiner? It really is. Okay, so while it's running, because I'm gonna do the face frame next, I'm gonna turn it to the tight setting. And now comes the part where, when I was setting this, I don't wanna be confusing, I, but I wanna make sure you understand why it's gonna be a four millimeter offset. If I take this and I loosen the height here, okay? See, come in, make sure we get this. Make sure that's good on the screen, Garrett. See the 20? I'm gonna bring it to 28. Remember, that's the thickness. So guess what that is? That's actually, divide that eight by two, and that gives me the four millimeter push I need. I hope you understand that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my side. I'm gonna set it down here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my lever clamp. Wow, that's cool, man. That sets in there pretty daggone good. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that the frame is still supported on the table, but it's not gonna interfere when I'm plunging vertically against the air. I've seen that happen before. Oh, you All right, I'm gonna take it like this. And once again, it's in tight. I love teaching you this, everybody. When you're plunging, Greg Polini taught me this. I used to go like this to turn it on and it would plunge at the same time and it would go kind of wacky on me. He taught me this, take your domino and plunge and pinch it on. <clears throat> See where I'm holding it? That, ma that makes sure that that plate registers properly against that face. So I'm plunging at an exact 90. And this is why I extended the lines here. Come in here, cameraman. Right back here. You see that? Even on a support bracket, that's my lineup. So I can come and capture that right in there. See how easy that is? That is the reason I extended the line with a saddle square. When you get good at this, you can do it on one leg. Garrett, Garrett showed me how to do that. Okay, so let's get some dominoes in there. Ooh, look, I just happen to have some right here. All right. Oh my God, that's too tight. Daggone it, you know what I'm gonna do? And this is something I want to teach you. I probably said this before, 
Ooh, never drop your domino on camera. I'm just kidding. If it's too tight, don't sand this. This is the face. If you look, there's a rib. And what I like to do, if they're too tight, I won't lose glue line here. I just sand that rib like this. Okay, and you'll see where that goes in a lot easier. See that? Just like that. Perfect. I need a couple more. You know what? I'll grab this one so Chris doesn't have to clean up. Thank you. You're welcome, doctor. And I'm going to get that like that. Man, I got pickles for my birthday. That's awesome. I know what I'm having for dinner. What, man? Pickles and beer. No, I don't drink beer. No. During the day or during Fest to Alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you talking about, Chris? Okay, so here is how everything lines up. Chris, come over here so you can see this. See that? Now I have that four millimeter scribing here. It's easy. And that is how you put the sides to a face frame. Whew. Good? Great. Okay, good. Hey, um, future episodes, maybe I'll show you, maybe in two or three episodes, I'll show you how to put the bottom to the sides and the bottom to the face frame. Yeah, maybe we can do that for another episode. Okay, everybody. Uh, Minnie, how you doing? I'm doing great. You got how many sides do you got? Uh, one. Two, I'm working on side three. Holy macanoli. Okay, so I'm going to call everybody out. Slowly. So, <laughs> can you hear Minnie when she says that? Go slow, Sedge. Okay, so I'm going to call everybody out. Um, did I tell you thank you for watching already? <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, okay, so here we go. I think I can pronounce this. Joe from Watsika, Illinois. Dirk from Dayton. Antwerp, Belgium. Hmm. Mark S. from Woodcraft in Plainfield, Virginia. Lawrence from Dublin, Ireland. It still looks like I'm coming, Lawrence, to Dublin. Woo! Dawn from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Dale from Swadilenko, England. Larry from Sun City, West Arizona. Larry, you're always with us. Thank you so, so much. Right there with Chris from Malta. How you doing, Chris? Good to see you. Gary from Beers. Is that right, Minnie? Or is it Gary Beers? Uh, that's what it said. Hey, Gary, let's go have some beers. Russ from, Russ, how's it from Chickchester? How are you doing, Russ? Winchester, Virginia. Michael from Edmonton. Michelle from Paris, France. North Carolina. Des from Harrigan, England. Leo from Holland. Woo, how you doing, Leo? George from Naples. Yakult, Washington. I'm getting this. I'm starting to pronounce things. I don't know what's up, man. Hey, hey, you think I'm, you think I'm starting to grow up? <laughs> I'm a year old, I'm very good. Hey, Minnie, should I grow up? No. Okay, good, I'm not gonna. Tom and Kedley from Eatonton, Georgia. Mike M from Austin, Mr. Martinez, how are ya? You are awesome, I'll tell you that right now. It's great hanging out with you. Oh, Delaware. Yes. Do, uh, Minnie, do you believe that Chris, the unit oh. cyber, has never seen Wayne's World? It kills me. It, it kills, kills me. me. He's such a pup. Lausanne, Switzerland. Ward from Batavia, Ohio. Ian, how are you from East Yorkshire? Chad from Richland, Washington. Portland, Oregon. Crippen A. Delac from Netherlands. Hopefully I get that right. Springfield, Oregon. Sully, how are you? Sully from Averill, Mass. to de France. Mississauga, Ontario. Garen, Karen from Kyalami, South Africa. Chris from Nambo, Nanaimbo, Nanaimbo, British Columbia. Jason from Fenton, Michigan. Oliver from Southern California. Tom from Bel Air, Maryland. Johnny O from Epco, New Jersey. Stephen from Brights Cove. Sl <laughs> That's good. Slick Tom from Moorhead, North Carolina. That's cool. Jeff from Clacksburg, Maryland. Spot Trishan, how you doing, Willie? Jimmy from Imlay City, Michigan. Matt from Newark, Ohio. Minnie, I gotta turn the board here. 
Nope. Nothing on that one. How's this one? Uh, yeah. Spacky, I gotta ask you to move. Man, we got so many boards these days, and I don't want to hurt Spacky. He just doesn't get out of the way. Uh, it's okay. He's allowed. He's he's the shop dog today. Happy birthday! Ooh, I got a lot of happy birthdays, man. I lost count. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Warped Woodsman from Portland, Oregon. Paul from Reading, Berkshire, North Carolina. Uh, nope, UK. Paul from Reading, Berkshire, UK. John from Vermont. Soren from Denmark. Peter from Crystal Lake, Illinois. Dan from Whitestone, New York. Kurt from Rochester, Michigan. Akron, Ohio. Bahamas. Brian, how are you? Independence, Kentucky. Steve from Rochester, New York. Curacao. That is so cool. Hank Foreman. How you doing, Hank? What's up, brother? All right. From OP, Maine, baby. Rickard from Gotland. Matt Gordon from Ohio. Wolfsburg, Germany. Monty from Canton, Connecticut. Talon, Estonia. Norman from Los Angeles. Morganstown, West Virginia. Bumpus. Yes, it's a real place. I know, but I don't want to pronounce how it's spelled. Seth from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Columbus, Ohio. Doug from Zionsville. Pulley Up, Washington. Romford, England. Calgary, Canada. Willie from Freeville. Pumpinville, Australia. Gary, you know what time it is in Australia? Uh, no. 12.20, I think. I think it's a 12-hour difference. I think that's what Big D said. Jason from Granite Falls, Washington, Sweden. Oh, Gary from Beers with the Boys. Gary! I know Gary from Beers with the Boys. That's what it is. Gary with Beers from the Boys. How are you? Aka, Finland. Welcome back. Mr. Vbrick, Blacksford, UK. Rob from South Devon, England. Oh, Gary Furness is his name. Yes, it is. It's a Delaware, Ohio. Bavariadra from India. No, Raviadra from India. Is that the first time from India? Uh, it's been a little while. It has been a while. Muller. Uh, what's this, Minnie? I know this is eerie from Ireland. What's that? Yeah, well, you were moving the board, right? Oh. Mullingar? Mullingar from Ireland. How are ya? Thank you so much. We also have over here, I love this. Look at all these people, Minnie. I love it. We also have Hollandale, California. We have Hong Kong. Hong Kong. We also have, jo that's a great name, huh? Is it? Johnny Ringo from Sears Poor, Ma Sears Port, Maine. Yes. See what happens when You I said can. Sears Poor. It's see as port, mean. I can all, oh, yep, I left See as port, point. right? I did, right there. She did, she's good, she's good. <laughs> Johnny Ringo, how are you? Thank you for attending Festool Live. Schwanigan, I think. Schwanigan, Quebec. What is it? Schwanigan. 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 Schwanigan, want again. There you go. I want again to go to Schwanigan. I like it. All right, so. <laughs> 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. in Australia. Thank you, Big G. <laughs> It doesn't sound right. That's Garrett. He's the rock star. Garrett, yep. Okay, everybody. I think that's a wrap. We all want to thank you very much. We love you. Thank you for attending another Festool Live, Festool Friday, here at Festool underscore USA. <laughs> Sparky, you got anything to say, bruh? Okay, so I think that's a wrap. I want to thank each and every one of the team for being in here. I want to thank Brent for being online. Go check out on YouTube the Build From Brent series, plus all the other festival lives, plus all the festival shop talk. We just posted this week an absolutely fantastic shop talk. It was from Austin School of Furniture with Austin, and it was a wonderful episode. What an incredible person, human being. Okay, I have, that's all I have to say about that. Everybody, have a wicked good weekend. We are out of here, because that's what we call a wrap.